Welcome, my friend. A few weeks ago, I posted a question within our YouTube community asking what style of yoga everyone is enjoying the most this season, and I was so happy to see so many of you sharing yin yoga. I absolutely love to practice yin yoga and love to teach it too. I don't have a lot of practices on the YouTube channel that are primarily yin, although we do have a lot of yin fusion practices, so I wanted to give you the gift of a morning yin yoga. Given it is a morning practice, you may not have the time for a full yin practice, so we'll hold the poses for about one and a half to two minutes, which also makes this practice great for those who are new to yin yoga. If you are looking for more yin yoga, our Awakened member site has over 50 yin yoga practices and includes yoga series and programs like yin yoga for the meridians and yoga for emotional eating. Now our practice today is the first in the November ground yoga love calendar. I'll join you seated on the mat. We'll move right into our first yin pose. So mirroring me, extend your left leg out long. Bring the opposite sole foot to your inner thigh. Now we have two options here. If you want to make this practice more focused on your hips, open your hips to the side of the mat and then melt forward from here. Or if you want to tend to your hamstrings too, you can square your hips over the extended leg and then melt forward. Yogi's choice. Take the first 30 seconds or so to get yourself set up. Use props as needed to fill the gaps between you and the earth. Regardless of the variation you take, let's keep both those sit bones grounded to the earth. If you're taking the pose that focuses on the hamstrings, you may also feel a nice opening along the right side of your back. And then allow your body, your muscles to completely relax and let go. Letting gravity be your friend. And then just feel your body rise and fall with each breath you take. With your exhalations, allow your body to soften closer towards the earth. Wherever you find yourself, bring your fingertips to the mat, tuck your chin to chest, press down to slowly roll up. We're going to take this right over to the second side, so extend your right leg out long, opposite sole of foot to your inner thigh, and then take whichever variation you took of this pose on the first side whether that's your hip points open to the side of the mat and melting forward or squaring your hips over the extended leg. Use your props if you'd like. Once you're lowered, gently close your eyes if it feels safe, drawing your attention to your sits bones, ground both into the earth, and then allow your body, your muscles to completely relax. Weighing heavy, 
just letting go, maybe by scanning your body, no muscular holdings, nourishing breaths, feeling the effects of your breath upon your body, the role your breath plays while you hold this pose, the role your breath plays in the environment of your practice the role your breath can play in your everyday. Let's bring those fingertips to the mat, tuck chin to chest and press down to slowly lift. We'll be coming into sleeping swan, which is yin variation of pigeon pose. So move your props to the front of the mat if needed so they're accessible and make your way to hands and knees. We'll draw your right knee forward, bringing it near your right thumb and then extend your back leg long behind you so it's in one long line. Then feel your hips square, weight evenly distributed and we'll begin to walk your palms forward, lowering until you find your edge. That first moment of sensation. So on a scale of one to 10, we want that sensation to be around a five, not going too deep to allow us to hold the pose without fidgeting, without engaging your muscles, as this will allow us to tend to your deep connective tissue. You do have the option to take reclined pigeon pose if the full variation of the pose provides too much sensation. Love, support, and honor what your body needs. Use those props in areas where there is a gap between you and the earth to ease discomfort. Gently close your eyes. Begin to draw your attention inward into that beautiful world of you. Let's lovingly come out of this pose, bring fingertips to the mat, tuck chin to chest, and press down to slowly roll up. Then bring your front foot back in whatever way works best for your body, nice and slow. Everyone take a few intuitive feel-good moves to release. Then we'll take it over to the second side. Bring your left knee near your left thumb. Bringing your heel closer towards your groin will soften the pose. Remember, we are looking for a sensation of around a 5 on a scale of 1 to 10. And the more parallel your shin is to the short edge of the mat, the deeper the stretch will be. So back leg is extended long in one line. Feel your hips square, weight evenly distributed. Lowering until you find your edge on this side. Not going too deep 
to allow us to hold this pose without fidgeting. Moving into reclined pigeon pose if your body is calling you to do so. Your right and left side may have different levels of flexibility. Respect and honor that, my friend. Gently close those eyes. Draw your attention inward. Sending your beautiful breaths into any areas of tightness or resistance you may be feeling. With your exhalations, visualize the exhale is releasing that tightness, tension, resistance from your body. So let's breathe in together through your nose, directing your in-breath into the space of tightness and tension. Feel it expand and open, creating space. And now a long, slow, complete exhale, visualizing your breath is carrying that tightness, tension with it, releasing it from that area, letting it go from your body. Your body softens and further relaxes and melts into the pose. Let's lovingly come out of this pose, bring fingertips to the mat, tuck chin to chest and press down to slowly roll up and bring your front foot back again in whatever way works best for your body. We'll take a few intuitive movements once more. Melting heart pose is next. So make your way to tabletop. Ensure knees are aligned with your hip points. Then we'll walk your hands forward, softening down Bring the chin or your forehead to the earth, whichever allows you to soften in the pose and invites the most ease into your body. Soften the space of your heart. Relax those shoulders. Close your eyes if you'd like. Feel your body here in this moment in complete stillness. As you breathe, your breath expanding your rib cage front to back and side to side. Your exhalation soften deeper into the pose, into this present moment. slowly be coming out of this pose and transitioning into sphinx pose so soften and lower those hips to the earth elbows align under your shoulders forearms are in parallel heart shines your shoulder heads draw back you can soften the pose by bringing your elbows forward a few inches or deepen by bringing your elbows back towards your body let's gently press your pubic bone down into the earth and notice if this helps find length and space in your low back. Soften your glutes. Close your eyes if you'd like. And just take a moment to notice the energy that is buzzing around you. Even while you are here in stillness, there is life swirling around you at all times. Filling the air around you and moving through the inner workings of your body.
beautiful. Let's soften and slide your palms under your shoulders and lovingly press yourself back hips to heels for child's pose. Bring your knees hip distance and take your arms back alongside your body so palms will be face up and let your shoulders soften. We just took two back bends in melting heart and sings pose. So now we are taking a counter pose. So this should feel pretty nice. We'll just take a few breaths here in peaceful stillness. Tuck your chin to chest and slowly roll up. You can stay right here where you are or make your way to an easy seat. Since this is a morning yin, we will not be taking Shavasana as I know you may not have as much time in the morning. Eyes gently closed. Again, just take a moment to notice and feel the energy that is around you. Feel the energy of your practice. Even while you are here, in a state of peaceful stillness. There is life swirling around at all times, feeling the air around you and moving through the inner workings of your body. Sending so much love, so much light to you and all beings. Namaste. Appreciate your ability to find peaceful stillness on the mat with your breath, with your body. Remember this feeling as you walk through your day and when it is needed, pause and take a conscious breath to allow this feeling of peaceful stillness to wash through you. If you enjoyed the shorter holds of this morning yin practice and would like to see more like this, please comment below and let me know. Throw the video a thumbs up and don't forget to get your copy of our free Ground Yoga Love Calendar. This will help deepen your self-care, self-love practices. Now, if you have been practicing with me for a while, I would truly appreciate you taking a moment to subscribe to our channel. And it is one very super easy way to help support our work so we can continue to release free yoga for all. So much love from my heart to yours.